Hello, thank you for tuning in. Uh, what I'm about to demonstrate to you is simple American legal law, not legal by all, but they're very oaths. I'm about to demonstrate to you Christendom in your government, what made America unique, and how it falls in line with Christ, the apostles, the holy scriptures, and undoes all their legal claims which Christ obliterated. Uh, proving them all evil and that only God is good. Slide 1. Timothy 1 Timothy 4, 2 through 6, speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from provisions which God has created and received. And to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If you put the brothers in remembrance of these things, you shall be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Nourished up in the word of faith of God, uh, of good doctrine where to you have attained okay so what he's saying here is exactly what none of the preachers in the land are doing they're all telling you to obey idols he's telling you to obey god we're going to go through this slide by slide kindergarten level with citations facts um from the bill of rights declaration the holy bible so forth and so on slide two Speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Excuse it. What they do is they accuse one and excuse another. They'll uh, judge you for having a drug, but they won't judge a billion dollar company that pays them. Um, they'll judge you, a personal person, but they won't judge the rich, the licensed, the privileged. They'll say you can't invent drugs like uh, George Washington Carver who invented the peanut with the peanut allergy, did hundreds of things, was brought before the, the Senate of, of America for um, inventing all that with the peanut, and he had no degree. But they, they couldn't understand how he did that without the degree, and when testified, he said, have y'all heard of the Bible? They said, are you saying the Bible told us? He said, no, God, who inspired the Bible, told me. I prayed to him, asked him, and he answered me. But they say, no, that can't be done. Only them that have paid for the degree, which you'll never afford. Excusing one, accusing another. They'll excuse them, but they'll accuse you. They destroy families for idols. And no victim, no accuser, not even a person to face in court, which is against their very oath. Their lies and hypocrisies. They will judge you and destroy your family for an idol. Um, making the poor pay. And robbing them of what they do have when they cannot pay. Um, they use these idols to separate. It's like the Herodians, King Herod. Remember when he ruled Jerusalem? And Herod means hero song. Uh, but they do it in a lie. They say they're protecting, but they're serving idols. And they're enslaving you, your family, destroying you when they don't. They claim to be a protector when all they are doing is robbing, shooting, killing, destroying the poor for being poor. The less privileged for not having the idols. They have no problem giving it to billionaires but if you oh man if you poor man uh think you can choose for yourself they'll destroy you um giving your pearls to swine your liberties your bill of rights your freedom your gospel your god-given liberties from birth you don't even need these things these are given from god um who uh, um, giving them the pearls, your parents saying that they get to rule over you, and then they trample them and turn to rend you against their very oaths, where they swear to uphold the Constitution and the Bill of Rights never to uh, uh, search or seize your property with the Fourth Amendment, uh, which is very basic third grade level reading. It's the Bill of Rights, the Ten Amendments, and the Constitution, which is what they swear to. I'm about to show you their oath. Then doing everything to destroy that against their very oath. Mark 7. 14 through 23 any that judge you for choosing for you is in satanic foolish evil prides um uh trying to play your god when god set you free through christ um through the blood through his word holy scripture they turn to idols 
We, we, idol cast out, idol says in prison, no we, only their idols. Uh, they'll say things like, baby, I'll love you forever, and then go to the court and get a divorce decree, stealing the kids away. Um, the, pe the cops will say, we the people, we are serving uh, the country, and then betray their very oaths, as we're about to see. Uh, speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. 1 Timothy 4.2 This is the oath of the judge, the cop, and the lawyers, Congress, Senate, President, soldiers, all the nation. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and obey and defend the Constitution of these United States. Okay? So now, let us read from the Bill of Rights. The, the, the rights never allowed to be taken away. Fourth Amendment. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. This is simple to understand. Why? Without a crime, without a victim, without someone to face you in court before 12 people, it opens the door for them to steal, kill, destroy you and your children by idols saying, well, we made an idol. Yeah, but I didn't hurt anybody. All I did was use my God-given right. And that's what they're to uphold. They're not to uphold a uh, 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 law against you and your people of having free right. Nowhere in that is their oath. Their oath is to secure you without searching you, seizing your property, pulling you over, seeing if you have anything. They're not to search and look for these things. They're supposed to have a person that says you've done wrong. But if they do that, then they can't rob and steal and kill you. They can't search you. They can't make money off you. They can't write fines to you. They can't imprison you. So they betray their very own oath. They speak lies and hypocrisies. They say, oh, I swear that I will uphold the Constitution. And then they come to you and say, what do your Bill of Rights matter? What do your rights matter? I'm not your servant, but they are your servant. The judge is your servant. The cop is your servant. The DA. And they're supposed to serve us and get another person to face us in court. Where is the oath to search? There isn't one. Where is the oath to seize people? There isn't one. To take you, your family, your countrymen, your Christ, your your Christian family without a warrant? No oath to this. There is nothing saying to do that. Nowhere. Why? Slide 5. Seventh Amendment to the Constitution of the United States in suits at common law, all divorces, all custodies, all person to person, right? Well, the criminal is supposed to be person to person too, but a criminal proceeding is different than you just saying that a person owes you money because a criminal proceeding puts you in prison and that's why you're supposed to face the person that would put you in prison, but they're making it where you serve idols. So, in suits at common law, where the value shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Meaning that if your wife divorces you, all that shit that comes out in court does not get to be used in another case. Uh, it's just you two disputing, or you and your neighbor. If they divulge in then it's not allowed to be used in another case. Um... And so, what this means is that you've paid, if you're divorced and you've paid a, a lawyer, they're supposed to, if you didn't like the ruling, they're supposed to make sure that you have the right by jury, but nobody's telling you this. Why? Because they're treating your children less than $20. Literally, they are betraying their oaths, unless you think your children are less than $20. Unless you think making sure you pay an insurance company or pay to a Walgreens to have your drugs is, is uh, a warrantable reason to pull. It's not. It's all evil. That means that in every custody case, if they are keeping their oath, then the one kid, if they're keeping their oath now, then one kid is only $1990 in value. 1999 period because if it exceeded twenty dollars that that would mean that you would get a jury of 12 two kids are 999 a piece and three kids are 666 a piece not to exceed twenty dollars next slide Speaking lies and hypocrisies having their conscience seared with a hot iron judges and cops tell you that they are the law 
yet they don't uphold their very own oath to that law. Letting one man, not a jury of twelve, judge in matters of their family. The most valuable thing known to man. Searching and seizing all the property you have for being poor. Seeing if you're too poor to pay your insurance, then they can rob from you. Seeing if you're, you didn't go get a, a degree. Because if you have a license as a doctor, and you have a degree as a doctor, then you won't get your drugs taken from you. No, no, no. You're allowed then because you paid. For choosing for self um, against their very own oaths against God, against the Holy Scripture. They must have a wicked conscience seared with a hot iron to subject you to an idle rule against their own oath. Why else would they betray their own oath? Why else would they treat kids less than $20? Why else would they accuse, steal, kill, destroy family and living human beings for an idol against their oath? Why else would anyone betray God-given freedoms? God-given families torn apart for idle rule against oaths. They speak, uh, slide seven, they speak lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You kids are so smart. Who hates freedom from God? Ah, the devil that turns everything upside down, trying to make you obey idols. Kids, who else lies swearing to an oath and then accuses you by idols, steals from you, kills you, destroys your family, removing your mom and dad for, you, for having free choice? Uh, slide eight, kids, what is hypocrisy? Saying you know the law and you are a judge of it, then betray your very own oath to your genius, kids. Cops, too. Because remember, they swore they wouldn't search you and seize you without a warrant. That's what they're to defend. Otherwise, we go back to every other nation in the world. Exactly what we fought a revolution against. Exactly what Christ died for. These kids are genius. Oh, look out. They're so smart. Swearing to death to keep a family together. Then bringing outsiders saying you're good for the kids to betray that oath. It's like two people get married and then the, the other parent brings in an outsider committing adultery and then pays the lawyer and the judge to commit treason, not giving your other parent a jury of 12, not giving them a fair say, using idols against them, uh, bringing in outsiders to, to pay to even see your own kid who you raised. And then they get bring in an outsider and say, look, look, this new person's better than the parent that birthed them. So really your parents are saying they love you while they cast out the other person and Christ says that if you love the kids you'll love the parent and so you can see how they don't love you or the other parent they'll only use you to get more idols to betray uh, hypocrisies like the see that behemoth one one hand up one down in the middle there between the cops and the judges he turns things around he says he's what he's not it's like a parent that swears the death to the family and then will give you away to a stranger they do the same thing. It's a curse from God that causes it to come upon the land. Uh, slide 9. Kids, what is having your conscience seared with a hot iron? Where you sweat to death loving someone. Then you bring outsiders to take away the kids that you raised together, swore together that you would never betray. You're so smart, kids. Swearing, saying that you're a protector of freedom, human rights, America, while you accuse with idols against our very constitution against our very bill of rights that very thing that they swore to uphold to steal to kill to destroy the poor to destroy the believer to make him pay an idol to make him serve an idol those very things they say they protect slide 10 kids if your parent pays a lawyer to help get custody then the judge rules as one person treating you less than twenty dollars if they're keeping their oath of course is that person Somebody you would trust with anything? If they fell in your family against their own oaths, failing their oath, failing the very legal law, uh, Bill of Rights, Constitution, they swore, taking you from your parent. And if the cops help the judge do this, to uphold a law that is in treason to the very oath they took, acting to destroy your family, can the cop be trusted? Can the parent who would bring them in to do this, can that parent be trusted to destroy the God-made family, to destroy their very own oath they swore to death? Is that trusting in God? Is that believing in God? Or is that using idols to destroy your own family? Slide 11. Abraham and Sarah committed adultery with Pharaoh. David and Bathsheba did. Saul used uh, idol laws 
to hunt down uh, Christians, imprison them, destroy them and their families. All of this was hypocrisies. But, and they all were in idolatries and adultery, but... They all repented of their sin, casting down the idols, casting down their lies, casting down their destruction to serve the living God. Slide 12. 1 Timothy 4.3, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from provisions, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them, which believe and know the truth. Um, Divorced by idols, forbidding parents and spouses to be near each other, such things as custody agreements, restraining orders. Um, this is them having their, their conscience seared with a hot iron, speaking lies and hypocrisy, saying they're for family while they cast out family with idols, using strangers to do this against their very own oaths. All that steal the kids away like the wicked witch. We'll get there, though. Uh, we'll prove the Wicked Witch, the Idol Candy House, the Bread Blood Trail, and how the adulterous, lying, idolatrous blasphemers against their own oath are destroying the families uh, by idol rule. Uh, death covenants by the Lord God himself, sin upon sin, teaching kids the same. Idols and adultery are greater than God himself. Idol, literally, they're teaching the idols made by courts that crucified Christ, the apostles, which we casted down in the revolution, uh, so that we could face one another. We, the people, a government of the people, for the people, by the people. And you can see how they're betraying those very own oaths to let idol rituals come in against their own oaths. Uh, I mean, this is third grade level reading, as I just demonstrated to you. Idols commanding not drugs, or drink, or drive. Or have something, it is idle accusations to obtain from anything under the sun. When you are made God free, to choose for you in our declaration, our Bill of Rights, the Gospel, the whole Holy Scriptures, um, so you're to give thanks and alms in all things, therefore it becomes clean. Anything under the sun, that's what that word provisions means. Uh, it also translates to meats and something, but in Greek, it means anything under the sun. God has given you dominion over all the world. So anybody that would take it away is a lying person playing satanic God over you. And of course, you'll never afford the idol that's needed to be free. <laughs> Of course, though, you'll never be able to afford the item, I, I'd hold, I, I'd hold that'll make you free, your degree, 250 grand, so forth and so on, um, Mark 7, 14 through 23, they don't even believe in the words of Christ, um, that them, that would judge you by idols, for that which you choose isn't evil, yet it does nothing but exactly what Christ says they would do. Rise up at fullest pride to steal, kill, destroy you. Covet what you have, destroy your family, remove your mommy and daddy, so that you become scattered sheep. All for an idol. Uh, the devil, father of accusations, no victim, no accuser, no crime, uh, steals, taking your stuff, making you pay, forcing you into slavery, fines, jails, kills you if you disobey the idol, destroys freedom, liberty, family, nations, faith in the one Lord living God who makes you free from birth. Slide 13. 1 Timothy 4. 1 Timothy 4.3 Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from provisions which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. That means that if anybody comes along and says, well, though you can't do that drug, they don't believe that God truly gave everything in the world to you. They believe that a man, a doctor, a judge, a title made by a man, all these things made by a man, but now another man has them by money, of course, because you have to purchase these things, gets to rule you. That makes them an idolater, a poor idolater, and want to enslave their kids under the same. Now let us take marrying kids. Do you think that God forbidding a wife to speak to her husband to her kids is good? You know, like they do with custody agreements. They go bring in outsiders to remove the kid. Do you think that's good? How about a husband to a wife and his kids? No. Why, you kids are so smart. 1 Timothy 4.3, forbidding to marry. Now, of course, he's not talking about uh, forbidding to marry. Um, he's, he means forbidding them that are married. He means forbidding people to not uh, uh, touch anything, as we're going to get there. Kids, if God gives you everything under the sun, as he does in Holy Scripture, and another man says 
he will imprison you, shoot you, kill you if you disobey and, and you touch those things, taste those things, look at those things. What has that man just played? God? Oh my God, kids. You are so smart. Hey, kids, is that freedom? Hell no. Is that liberty? Hell no. Against their very own oaths. 1 Timothy 4.4. 4, uh, f- slide 15. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanks. Nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. But they say it is because you don't have the idol. You don't have a license. You didn't get another man's permission who, who dies like you. Now, is man good? No. Good? No. Only God is good. Then if a man wants to make idols to rule you, is it good? Hell no. It's worse than not good. It's worse than a man trying to rule you. I mean, and the man alone's trying to play Christ, but now he wants you to bow down wants co- your own cops, your own servants who you pay. Servants. Because remember, in America, judges, cops, lawyers... Are- All these people are not above you. They're below you. They're your servant. It's a public servant of it. In the rest of the world, they're over you. But we're going to get there too. See what they did to Christ? Apostles? Saints? Why America had a revolution? No idol rule? Why then would one refuse? Why then would anyone refuse anything another person takes in for themselves? Who wants to be... Who wants to bet that it makes money? Stealing, killing, destroying, all by idle rule. Uh, why would somebody take away your free choice? Why would that bother anyone? It wouldn't, unless they were satanic and they could profit off of it. Slide 16. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Hey kids, who do we know that hates all the animals? People on the earth from receiving things with thanksgiving. And want to put them into prison and kill them if they don't obey. This is strange, kids. People refusing things from other people and then hurt them if they don't obey and serve. That's weird, isn't it? I mean, why would anyone hate that which God gave you? And why, if they're so good, will they shoot, kill you, and remove you from your parents? Destroying a family for an idol that another man made that he got from another man, all purchased, and you will never afford. 17. Slide 17, 1 Timothy 4, 5. For it is sanctified by the word of God and in prayer. Note, if it is not done in faith, giving thanks to God, it is sin. Right? Everything done not in faith is sin. Then if a person judges you using an idle accusation, which which one is more approved by the Lord God and Christ? Is it the one that's doing the drugs giving thanks? Or... Is it the one that is accusing you? Which one do you think is more with God? (laughs) Of course, the one that's doing the drugs. Because the one that is coming to destroy you and imprison you, as Christ says in Mark 7, 14 through 23, they are in foolish pride, only to steal, kill, destroy you, is in the whole of the gospel. So then, if they, by just doing their jobs, making money, are serving money out of faith, Obeying an idol made by an evil condemned man against their very own oaths, then you know that they are an evil, foolish pride against God. So says Christ, Mark 7, 14 through 23. So is saying Paul right here in 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 4, 5. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Slide 18. Hey kids, who doesn't believe that God's word and prayer from a person can sanctify something? And they will accuse you. They will steal from you. They will kill you. They will destroy you if you don't obey them. Do what they say. What about the word of God? What about Christ? What about the apostles? Holy scriptures, declaration of independence, bill of rights, constitution, their very own oaths. Who would do that, kids? Oh, you kids are so smart. Satan turns God's word upside down and doesn't believe. Isn't that easy, kids? 19. Slide 19, Timothy 4, 6. 1 Timothy 4, 6. If thou put the brothers in remembrance of these things, you shall be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nursed up in the word of faith and of good doctrine, whereto you have attained. He is saying that if you believe in Christ, if you believe in God's word, then you know no other man gets to rule over you, your children, and enslave you with their fancy 
cunning, subtle, complex, sophisticated, just like the devil in Genesis 3.1. Subtle, complex, oh, shh, don't cuss, shh, calm down, shh, don't do that, don't touch, don't taste. Thou let us kill you, enslave you, throw you in prison, because we're good. All this we destroyed in the revolution, but somehow it's come back, because clearly somebody is lying when they are saying they believe in the word of God, when they say they are believing Christ, when they're telling you children you're free, when you're not, because they have tons of idols against their very own oath, against the very doctrine of Christ, the apostles, the Holy Bible, the revolution, the declaration, the Bill of Rights. All this is already paid for, kids. All you have to do is learn the blood bread trail in which the wicked witch is trying to make you forget. Therefore, if you have a gospel fenced in about buying obeying idols that is if you have the gospel of christ and then you add in idol rules that are made in treason to the very law of this american land against their very own oaths that they promised to uphold against the gospel against the words of christ himself then they are are they then are they in faith no nor they are not in faith nor are they in good doctrine they are in satanic doctrine, idolatrous doctrine, out of Egypt, Babylon. Nor have they obtained to the gospel, that is the good news, that you're free in God, and no man by rich, idle degree, kingship, whatever it be, gets to rule over you. How do you know? They are still obeying God-damned idols. Was Christ crucified to set you free to obey idols? Was the revolution fought for this? Slide 20. Now, why aren't the brethren remembering to be free? And at liberty in God. Why are they letting others rule them as though they are better than Christ? Oh, you kids already know. Is that the church that Christ died for? A not free one? One that's made to obey men that kill Christ? You know better than this. Slide 21. Here came to me every one of you and on Mark 7, 14 through 23. This is the kicker, kids. Here came to me every one of you and understand. There is nothing from outside of a man that entering into him can defile him. That means anything under the sun, kids. But the things which come out of him, those are the things which defile you. If any man he has ears to hear, let, it, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he said to them, Are you still without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatever thing from outside enters into the man it cannot defile him he's call him stupid because it enters not into his heart but into the body it goes out into the drought purging all things that death or crapping peeing sweating and he said that which comes out of the man that defiles him from within out of the heart of man proceeds evil thoughts adulteries fornications murders thefts covetousness wickedness deceit lasciviousness and an evil eye blasphemy foolish pride all these things come from within and they defile the man here can to me every one of you and understand. Now let's break down what Christ says in case your parents go to trick you trying to tell you to obey your own servant that you hired to protect the Bill of Rights, the Declaration, so that you could worship God and not pay a rich man who are your servants. So let's break this down so that when your parents go to lie to you and try to tell you that they're over you, you remind them that they swore an oath to uphold the Constitution and in that Constitution it says they cannot search or seize you. But let's break down what Christ says from Holy Scripture. Verse 22. There are several things that this that this moves any man who has family, children, and especially children with children. Christ does not just walk around telling everyone, listen everyone. Hey you, kids, grandparents, mamas, daddies, all you have to listen to this. And you have to understand what I, the Son of God, am telling you. Not all does he ever have this demeanor. Not at all does Christ have this demeanor. He doesn't just go around talking to kids and preaching to kids. He preaches to men to prepare them to fight evil, to stand for the crucifixion, to stand free, to protect their flock, to stop idolatrous goddamn oath-breaking liars and false preachers and false teachers and false parents from saying they love their kids while they bring in outsiders with idols to destroy them. This is the only time in all the Holy Scriptures that Christ calls his disciples stupid through this, this verse here uh, these verses 7 14 through 23 and mark without understanding because they ignore this first phrase right here everyone no Christ is not in this habit everyone does not 
learn of crucifixion or of hell or of fasting or of sacrifice until they are men, until they are older, until they are ready. He lets children be children, but on this, he's even calling the children and the women. He's telling all of them, you need to understand this, and thus everyone understand this. And what is it? Not to let others make idols to judge you and your family. Verse 23. Mark 7, 14 through 23. Here can to me, every one of you, and understand. Kids, when Christ says for everyone to understand, does that mean the judges, the cops, the preachers, the teachers, your parents, and you? I know everyone means everyone but Christ. But who wouldn't listen? That's right. Satan and all them that are by his side. Kids are so smart. Slide 24. There is nothing from outside of the man that entering into him that can <laughs> there is nothing from the outside of man that entering into him that can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are the things that defile a man. Nothing ever from outside of you. Heroin, meth, painkillers, weed, marijuana, caffeine, water, pork, cattle, cats, squid, pussy, semen, shit, air, gas. It doesn't matter. It cannot defile you if it comes from out of you. Any drug, any provision under the sun. So why would they say that it's bad for you to do that? Because then they can't corner the market. They can't imprison you. They can't break up your family. When the begotten son of the living Lord God tells you nothing can defile you, everyone understand this, everything, anything entering into the body cannot defile you, what should you probably believe? Christ or some legal or law claim against their very treasonous oaths to search and seize and destroy you and your family to remove who should you believe the one that's trying to give you life and keep your family together or the one that's trying to make you pay fines enslave you imprison you destroy your family so your mama commits adultery while your daddy's in prison so that you kids have to still kill to live and all this without a victim flesh and blood accuser which is of course the American law because because if you did idols, then we go right back to the king magistrate, caveman, idolatry. Uh, what killed Christ, kids? Was it Christ going to say they will do who, judge, who judges you for a drug that you do? That is right. So why should everyone understand this? Because anyone that, that will judge you by an idol or for what you choose are there to destroy you just like Christ says. Slide 25. There is nothing from outside of a man that entering into him that can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are the things that defile a man. Who then, kids, would say something is bad? Okay, you all know the devil. How do you know? Because drugs go in and cannot defile you. Doing evil to human beings for free choice does defile you. That does come out of you. Oh, look what we have here, kids. Oh, what do you know? Against their own oath. 26. Mark 7, 16. If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. Now this is common enough for Christ to preach, you see. It is, is it not? And this is very common for him to preach. But the beginning intro is unique. Very unique in its character warning. For this right here is to, is to, is also a warning. But no, man, for a believer... Man, for a believing man, is one who is ready to die and kill for the Lord God living at any time that the Holy Spirit commands him to. Everyone else is, well, everyone. But to the man who believes, we are one, not everyone. What, what this means is Christ is, is using the common prophetic Hebrew calling to men, what is common actually around the world at that time. If you are a man, you need to hear, you need to prepare for war, you need to get on guard because somebody has come to destroy your flock. It's called an hallelujah, a field hauler. It is to bring you together because somebody has made an idol to bow you and your family down to. And that's why he begins with the intro of everyone that can hear, hear. And then he says, um, all those that understand, understand. And then here he double reiterates it. If you're a man, Man, your ass should already be on guard, not letting goddamn idolaters rule over you and your family, because that shit's goddamn evil. What I mean is what Christ means. The intro is everyone. That is everyone. But in all other introductions or openings, 
it is to men, like any Jew that ever was in his day. And so he is saying, everyone know this. And then ending with, men, you better already know this. The reason is clear. Any usurpation of your free choice and your children's usurpation of your fidelity to the living Lord God, giving rule to men and to idols over you and your family is goddamn coward evil. Very clear why he double reiterates this and why he's about to call them stupid, as we shall see going on. If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. Kids are so smart. Satan turns God's words upside down. For those that deny the air in front of their face, kids, let's do this again. So, if you don't understand something and Christ tells you you should, what should you probably do? Ask him to clarify, correct? Which is exactly what we have right here. Mark 7, 17. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. See, he is now from the people. Everyone. Yeah, I remember everyone he is talking to. And now he's with the men. That is, if a man have ears to hear, let him hear. The warning to men. Well, the men understood he was giving a warning to understand. So, they took that warning. Being honest, they did not refuse him. I am stating what Christ states when he says, Praise is perfect from children. Meaning any child could go around singing, Hallelujah, I follow God, I love God. But only a true believer will not bow him and his family down to idols. Especially an American believer when you have a bill of rights, their oath to it and all this. So only a goddamn lying coward who's trying to give his kids to the wicked witch, denying the air in front of his face, betraying their own oath like an adulterous parent, stealing the kids away, using outsiders, using legal law, but all calling it good when it's against their very own oath. But to stand in truth and in faith, not letting anyone else play your God, this is what God requires of men. This is what God requires of men. To praise him, you can go to hell for praising him like a child. This is perfected from children, said Christ. And anyone that would tell you what to choose is playing your goddamned God. Only to steal, only to kill, and only to destroy you, just like Christ says. As we'll see going forward. Slide 29. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. Important lesson, kids. If you do not understand something, ask again and again. No such thing as a stupid question, especially when dealing with issues that enslave you, accuse you, kill you, destroy you, and your families, and your nation, and your faith for idols against our very own earth, clear-cut, third-grade level reading. Um, what should we do, kids? Mm, should we obey God and be free? Or should we obey man with his legal claims which Christ obliterated, as we're going to see in Colossians 2, 14 and 16, as we all know well done. That's why it's in the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, all that stuff. Slide 30. Mark seven eighteen, And he said to them, Are you without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from outside enters into the man, it cannot defile him. Are you so stupid? This is what you got to ask your parents when they say, well, that ain't a drug law. Are you so stupid to not believe Christ, but to believe them so they can still kill and take your family? Did they ever die for you? Did they lay down their life? No, they betrayed their oath. They betrayed their oath. They betrayed the gospel. They betrayed freedom. They betrayed liberty. They betrayed the Bill of Rights. They betrayed the gospel. They betrayed Christ. They betrayed the apostles. They betrayed your God-given right that any animal in the world, even an idiot caveman, a hillbilly 230 years ago, can see you're born free. So for them to come in and take that away, it is clear to see why they're doing it. And anything that you choose to do cannot defile you in the eyes of God. How do you know this? Because Christ and the apostles are telling you this. Unless you believe somebody's opinion over the word of God. And then that would make you not a believer, but a goddamn liar who just picks and chooses like an adulterous man carrying the name of Christ. I got faith. Look at my adultery. <laughs> I went and got legal law to destroy my family. The same thing that killed Christ. <laughs> you could see the hypocrisy in this. Uh, understanding is always the fear of the Lord God. And since the men could not understand, that is, 
trust in one Lord, one God, not let another man, no matter what his position, nation be. Uh, in, in America, in the revolution, it was a king. They had no legal claim to be free, except for the gospel. Today, you have legal claim, Bill of Rights, Declaration, Constitution. You have their very own oath to uphold these things. You have the gospel. All this, you have to stand on them. They only have the apostles and the word of God, and they still broke the chains of kings. Today, your parents are goddamn liars, trying to feed you to the wicked witch in the idol house. And since the men could not, oh, and the judges, the cops, the lawyer, all of them betraying their oath. And since the men could not understand, because understanding is one Lord God living, serve and obey him alone. Not a man, not an idol, not his position, not his degree. And letting another person judge another is the defiling. Christ is making them undefiable. That's why he's teaching them. That's why he's calling them stupid. Wake up. He's saying, he's saying, are you so freaking dumb that you're going to serve God and then serve them? Are you so freaking dumb that you're going to obey God alone, but yet you're going to obey their idol? Understand, teaching them not to judge, teaching them not to partake, teaching them not to help people do that. This is the only time that Christ calls his disciples stupid, a fool, a man that does not have one Lord and one God. Rather, he is asking if they are this. He's not necessarily nailing them to it. He's showing them that they're, they're deviating from one Lord, one God, turning back to man that, that kills Christ and them later on with idle rule, just like they do today to kill your parents, to shoot and chase you and your children and your family. Thus, Christ reiterates, nothing that comes from outside the body can defile you. Nothing whatsoever. Not heroin, not methamphetamine, not drinking, not pot, not cocaine, not caffeine, not... All the other things, pork, meat, tomato, it doesn't matter whatsoever it is. It cannot defile you. Are you without understanding also? <laughs> Look at little kid. That Jesus just call us stupid like we don't serve God alone, obey God alone. Of course we don't obey others. Fear of God alone is to understand. And then look at the caveman. Now watch. Watch what your parents try to do here. Watch them be not now talk to them like caveman because they're being freaking retarded trying to deny the air in front of their face to serve that lying goddamn demon to flip things upside down. It's a proof to you that they're liars, not in God, not with Christ, not free, but trying to give you to idols. Watch. Are you sure it is anything, Jesus? Everything was over? Because they keep coming up with things to imprison me, to shoot me, to kill me, and my kids for joint free choice. See how easy that is, kids? Now, if they say for any reason whatsoever that these people can shoot and kill you, they are the wicked witch trying to put you in a goddamn prison oven. And they don't serve a living God. They serve idols that men make, that kill Christ the apostles. 719, slide 32. Because it enters not into his heart, but into the body, and goes out into the drop, purging all things. Let me try translating using the whole of the Holy Scriptures rightly here, dividing the word. Because you ignorant beeps, God weighs the intent of the heart. And if you are judging what another person chose to do, you're goddamned evil in your heart. Hating their freedom, hating their liberty, given by the Lord God to all human beings all over the earth. And what does it matter? Do you want to dress up maggot food like a mummy in Egypt? Do, you know, they say, well, you got to present your body a living sacrifice. Blah, blah, blah. Never does it say to do evil for those things. So no matter how you dress up your dead body, which will be maggot food, you're trying to be like a mummy. You're trying to do like Egypt. You're trying to dress up something that dies. That's how Christ could get drunk. Noah got drunk. Uh, they want to make that which dies your works. They, they want to turn you to dead works. They want you to dress up your body and they want you to serve as slaves in your body to other men's idols like Egypt. Because Noah got drunk, Christ got drunk, both bodies mutilated, uh, one became maggot food, and one became crucified. Yet their hearts were more perfect than the whole of the earth. Or do you think God's justice is unjust? Or should... Or should you judge a man for his free drug choice against God? Should you join men and women that do? No, hell no. They're goddamn... This is the whole point of the Holy Scripture. Either you be free in God, or you serve and obey idols. I ask you, what God asked Job? 
Will you justify yourself to be righteous before God? Will you nullify Christ's decree for a government drug law? Entries into their own oath. That's the fucked up part. Slide 33. Because it enters not into the heart, but into the body, and goes out into the drought, purging all things. Kids, if you die in the drought, that is, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, why would you dress it up? I mean, if you're born to be maggot food, you're born to die, why would you dress it up all neat? Oh, that's right, if you were a mummy dressing dead works. That's right. And what else do they, oh, they enslave you, imprison you. And when they dress dead works, do they not enslave you? Do they not get rich off your prisons, off your taxes, off your fines, off your debt, off the destruction of your family? Of course they do. And when you sweat, drugs come out. Give it a couple days. Uh, and it comes out when you crap, too. You kids are so smart. When you pee, too. And when you die, and as time goes on, it evaporates. So why would they enslave you for years for something that only lasted moments? Crazy, huh? Because they make money. They're betraying their own oath. Slide 35. And he said, that which comes out of a man, that defiles him. That which comes out. Let us see. If you get drunk, don't you speak true? Don't you get courageous? Then that isn't evil. But if you lie and say doing a drug is bad to arrest, shoot, kill, and slave steal from, is that evil? What if it's in treason to your very oath? Is that then evil? <laughs> what then, kids? What about if it's against, um, what about taking someone's kids for their own free choice given by God? Is that evil? What if it is done in treason to your very own oath? Is that evil? Is that evil? Does that defile a man? Of course, you goddamn judgmental fools. It is done by idolatry, without a victim, without an accuser, without even facing the person in court before 12 people. They destroy you. They kill you. They enslave you. They take your kids for just having a free choice given by God. So, yes, God damns you. For your defiled, evil, judgmental, idle heart. That is why you, every one of you, must understand. And you men must hear. Mark 7.20 And he said, That which comes out of him, man, that defiles him. Kids, what does this mean? Accusations from lawyers, judges, cops, destroying the word of God, the Holy Bible, racketeering by court orders, mafia style, making pain, enslaving against their oath, speaking lies and hypocrisies, robbing, accusing one of God's children, tyranny, destroying the American way of life, imprisoning you for idols, shooting and killing you for just being free and choosing, throwing you in prison, not we the people, but we the idols now. Slide 37. Mark 721. For within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders. Hmm. To steal a person's kid for smoking weed, that which God made, to make her hang herself? God bless you, Miss Angela. That's a woman I knew. Uh, her daughter was Little Whisper. They took her away, gave her supervised visitation uh, for um, for marijuana. And she paid a lawyer. And they didn't give her her jury of 12, which is their very own oath to uphold that jury of 12, to make sure she gets that. Because no jury of 12 would have taken a mother from her child or a, parent or a dad from a child for drugs. But a lying person betraying their oath to destroy you will. And all you have to do is read the 7th Amendment as we'll go back and backtrack again. Remember anything over $20? Treating you kids less than $20. Because the parents are treating you less than that too. Because if they do that to the parent, they'll do that to you. So says the Bible. To create idols, to do adultery. To create idols, to steal from the poor for being poor. To kill, steal, destroy. For God give them free choice. No, they do not in any wise hate adultery. Notice how judges don't hate adultery, how the cops don't hate adultery, how your adulterous parents stealing you away doesn't hate their adultery. They don't hate their swearing to death and betraying it. Notice how none of them care about that. I swear to that, now I'm going to betray you. And none of them care about that. They don't care about stealing you kids away from your parents, giving you to strangers. They don't care about you swearing away Christ or rising, swearing away Christ. They don't care about you betraying God and his word. In no wise do they hate the cops, the judges, the lawyers acting in treason to their very own oath, the Declaration, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, that everybody paid for in blood. But they hate anyone. 
who chooses for themselves. Like zombies, living dead they are, loving evil, hating all that God gives you. If they don't believe in the Bible, they sure do act precisely against it for someone that doesn't believe. Slide 38. From within, out of the heart, men of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications. They'll, they'll take the kids away in custody orders if you try to see your kid. They'll take all your guns, your drugs, and make you pay and then turn around and sell them again. How do you know? Because they serve idols. And anyone that serves idols will always resell what they take from you because they're doing and betraying their very own oath. I know you don't make any money if I am free, but what of my children? They don't care. They don't care. You you didn't obey an idol. We're going to take your kids out. You are free like Christ said to be. They don't mind doing all the murders, the thefts, the shootings, chasing prisons against their own oaths. But as, as we have demonstrated, they all swore to uphold the Constitution, which is the Bill of Rights. Uh, March 7.22. Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye. Blasphemy. Foolish pride. Blasphemy is whatever you don't do what Christ says, but you'll do what an idol says. Um, what do they do if you do drugs? Not paying them to do them. Because remember, if you buy them from them, they don't mind. If you pay to get a life, they don't mind. They don't care if you get oxycotton, painkillers, synthetic heroines. They don't care what drug you do. Remember that, as long as you pay them. You see? And that's why they act against their very own oath. Even natural God-made marijuana that's been here for billions of years. <laughs> this was laughing out loud because God made that. God made you. God gave you dominion over all this. But you, they, they say give it to them and they'll shoot and kill you and they're good for you. But it doesn't matter what it is. Any rule given is saying they are better than the holy book. They're saying they're better than Christ, better than God living. They're saying they're not thieving from you. They're saying they're not wicked. They're saying they're not in foolish pride. But clearly they are, because Christ isn't a liar. They are, against their very own oath. What kind of people think an idle drug law is better than the Bible, than Christ, than God? Let's see what Jesus says. Then they will steal your stuff, make you pay witchcraft to the kids, Teaching them to obey idols over family, over their parents. Strangers over their own God-made parents. Idolatrous adultery. Evil eyes saying, calm down, calm down. Why are you getting mad? Why are you cussing? You're crazy. We're only taking away your God-given right. We're only stealing your children while they commit adultery and theft. We are only killing you and your kids for an idol against the Lord God and the Christ. But shh, calm down. We are a legal law that is really by all telling you to do exactly what Christ says evil people do. Exactly what Christ says evil people do. They hate freedom. They hate liberty. They hate God. They hate Christ. They hate the Bible. They hate family. They hate freedom. They hate America. They hate you and your family. Your own parents hate you and would feed you to idols. Because if they tell you to obey the orders of them appointed over you, your judge, your cop, your lawyer, your congress, your senate, in America, they're under you. Those are your servants. And if they tell you to obey an idol, they don't believe in God. They're trying to sacrifice you to idols. We'll get there. Kids, why would Jesus warn us? Uh, slide 40. Kids, why would Jesus warn us? Them that judge you for free choice are the evil ones. All you are so smart. Now, who, kids, would say that Jesus, the Apostles, Holy Bible, Bill of Rights, uh, the Declaration of Independence, their very own us, are all wrong? And why would they do, why would they do this saying they are, while they are against their very own oaths? I know it's evil, retarded, tyranny, caveman shit, kids, and I know it is. So why are they doing it? Denying the air in front of their face against their own oaths, the Holy Scriptures, and Christ. That must mean that they are liars, not believers in God. See that bohemian uh, flips everything upside down? He says he's something he's not. He says, I believe in Jesus, and then he gives you kids over to idols. The wicked witches of it. Oh, that's covetous. Hey, who's in foolish pride? Pharaoh, doctors, cops, judges. Why? Kids, what is evil foolish pride? When anyone in all the world thinks they are better than Christ, the Bible, 
the Bill of Rights, their own oath, all the apostles, God's word, freedom, liberty, and there's that, oh, we get to take that freedom for you. That's all evil, foolish pride, wickedness. So why would your parents tell you and give you to them? Hum, strange how they bring in them to destroy you and the parent that wanted you, the, that literally would have shared you with the other parent. They bring in these people to remove you from that parent. And then, <laughs> you can see clearly what they're doing, kids. This isn't hard. Your parents already know. They're just denying the air in front of their face. 42. Seven, Mark 7, 4, 7, 23. All these things come from within and defile the man. All of these evil things. Evil, 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 evil. Just so you get it, when they try to say it's not, you just turn them back to the Bible and say, is Jesus a liar or are you? Turn them to the Declaration of Independence. Is those that lay down their life found in this nation correct? Or are you giving us a way to our rule? Is the Bill of Rights that they all swore to uphold, is that correct? Or is them betraying it, throwing us in prison, stealing us away from our parents, trying to make us pay, 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 kill us if we don't, make us slave, slave, slave? Which one's true? And why do they swear oaths to these things? As you can see, but in America just can't seem to do what then? They can't seem to obey their own oaths. For what goddamn reason are they doing this? Evil, 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 evil. As Christ says, as thought them being sober, they're evil. They're not sober. They obey any idol. Sober-minded, that's how Noah got drunk, Christ got drunk, because uh, um, uh, has says, nope, you're exactly uh, that God kills. Um, so everybody that was telling Noah that he was he was a fool and all this, and remember he got drunk, uh, as it says, he's first plant a vineyard, first one to get drunk, Christ too, they all call the fool, but it was them that were sober trying to obey idols, dress up dead works that God proved were evil, because they were only using that dressed up dead works to to kill Christ, to mock Noah, to, to kill the apostles without a victim, flesh and blood person accusing you. It is all idle rule. And your parents know this. Um, as though them being sober, evil will take them out of the crowd. Uh, remember the crowd saying, uh, let Barabbas go, but kill Christ. They were house paying, uh, legal law, but all fallen, and they didn't like how Christ was preaching freedom and liberty. They wanted to sacrifice their children to the idols like they did Christ and, and the apostles. Uh, just in case we have any mishaps here, I went ahead and did the, um, the definitions for you so you can hit pause and take a look at that, um, on your own time, if you like, this is just to prove to you, uh, if your parents try to sidestep it, it makes it very clear. There's two slides there, just so you know. Slide 45. Kids, what is the reason that someone would make legal claims against us, the people and our free choice? Huh, Matthew 12:29. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man? Then he can plunder his house. How do they do that? Make drinking checkpoints in, in uh, cultures where they have bars and liquor stores. And they didn't even do wrong. And they just take them to jail for this so that you kids get scattered. Uh, so that they search and seize you without warrants against their very own oath, the Fourth Amendment. Uh, so that they can remove you from your parent and give you to the beach train one so that they can give you to strangers to get touched and screwed and learn to obey idols uh, and adultery idols and strangers more than your own blood parents who would die for you and kill for you. But they would rather give you to strangers so they can be rich and be comfortable. Uh, in fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. Then he can plunder the strong man's house. David says it like this. When a bear or sheep come or when a bear or lion come for the sheep, I beat them over the head and take the sheep back. When they come after me, I kill them. Why does he kill them, kids? Because if you kill the shepherd, the, ski, the, the, the sheep scatter. That's why they take your parents to prison without a victim, without an accuser, for just being free against their own oath. Because they're working for the devil to betray and destroy this nation. You, God, family, faith, Christendom, they hate their own oath. Why, why would they do something against their own oath, kids? 
Why would your parent bring in a stranger to steal you from your your other parent against throwing up using an idol and strangers? Honoring the idol and the strangers more than they do your own parent is what they to. Slide 46. Proverbs 26 20. Without food, without wood, fire goes out. Without a gossip, a coral dies. Um, so the wood in treason to their oath, their declaration, their bill of rights is legal court claims, which we're going to see Christ has made a mockery of all this and was also cast out of the revolution, yet somehow we're back to it, trying to fatten you kids. Uh, as you can see, the hands on Gretel loving right there. The oven is the prisons, the jails, the searches, the seizures, the fines, the death, the oven for the for us, U.S., and our kids against the very, very rights. And now what God is going to do is catch all these people in treason. And then, well, we'll see how the Holy Spirit deals with that because it says anybody that's in a leadership position, like a cop or a judge or a lawyer or a parent, that swear they're protecting the children and the nation, and then they betray these very own oaths. Well, we'll see what happens. God will decide. Now, kids, if your parents are in Christ, parents are in Christ, then they're a spiritual person, and they have the mind of Christ. They're in the head of Christ. But we'll get there. So let's just say this. If you're a spiritual person and you're in Christ and Christ is your Lord and your brains your thought, then you can discern and judge all things. But no one, uh, I'm sorry, the spiritual person can discern and judge all things, but is judged and discerned by no one. So let no one boast about human beings for everything belongs to you. Slide 47, we're on. Uh, 1, Cor 1 Corinthians uh, 2.15 uh, and 321. So then, let no one boast over you in these things. Uh, the spiritual person could judge and discern all things, but is subject and discerned, but is not subject or discerned by anyone. So if your parents believe in the Bible, why are they giving this over to other judges? And why would they do this in America when these are your servants? You understand? They're not made to judge you. They're made to judge in matters between each other. That's why you have to have the warrant, the flesh and blood, victim accuser, the person to face you. Thank God for freedom. You're right, kids. Isn't that great? People are free, unjudgeable. If in me, says Christ, true, free, liberty, who would disagree with Christ, kids? That's right. The devil would say, forget Jesus. Let me rule you. Crack that whip. Make you pay. Take your kids away. Call it legal law by all against their very own oath. Slide 48 right now on the 49. Uh, again, against their very own oaths, as you can clearly see, they all take the oath to uphold the Constitution, which is the Bill of Rights, which means you don't get searched and seized by nobody without another person saying to, that you've done wrong, without a warrant describing you and the things to search and seize. The spiritual person can discern and judge all things but subject to none. It takes one to no one. That is, all the spiritual people are born carnal, right? And so we know what a carnal person thinks. They use idols. They judge one, accuse another to commit adultery, to steal the kids. We've all been sinners, liars, whores, sinners, adulteresses. All oh, goddamn dumb sheep running astray, says Isaiah. And we are. We turn from the Lord. We, we are born under Adam, sold under sin. You can't sell your soul. You're already sold under sin, dummy. Um, and so whenever they try to play them games on you and do that trick on you, just give them the Holy Scriptures. You're already sold under this. So when you're reborn, you could judge all these things, but you're judged by no one because now you're with God in Christ and God tells you what to judge and what to do. The spiritual person knows not where or what they will do or say because they serve God. And so then for somebody to make an idol to tell them what to do is for them to play their idol God. Evil. Sin. So let no one boast about human th uh, about human beings for everything belongs to you. Remember Genesis um, where God gives you dominion over everything, then who would take that dominion away? If a man is reborn spiritually, does he give control of his personal choices and his life to the carnal man? The judges that kill Christ, their own servants here in America? Judges all over the world, but public servant judges here to judge between us and our matters. Um, 
uh, the cops are our servants. All of them have sworn to uphold our constitution and be your servant. How about letting uh, them drug their kids, force them into vaccines they don't even add a day to human life and could kill their kids and decide what school to go to without God. Does a spiritual man do this? Hell no, kids. Uh, to make his kids get idols to be free? No, he lets them be free in God. He doesn't turn them back. Um, make his kids obey pharmakia, which is witchcraft in the New Testament. Galatians uh, 5.20, witchcraft, pharmacists, doctors. Why? Because Why are these considered witchcraft? Because they're not bad in themselves, right? Because if you became a doctor like George Washington Carver, that wouldn't be bad. Or like Albert Einstein without a degree and all that, that wouldn't be bad. But what makes them witchcraft to the kids, uh, wicked, is because they don't just want to do the drugs they want to control them they want to force imprison you kill you make you obey make you pay fines just like christ says in mark 7 14 through 23 slide 52 so let no one boast about human beings for everything belongs to you now this is an apostle reiterating what christ says in genesis kids who would say things don't belong who would say things don't belong to you when an apostle ordained by god himself by christ himself sent them to say it who would disobey this kids that wouldn't be so bad but what do they do when they disagree with god with christ with the apostles with the holy scriptures with the bill of rights with the declaration what do they do to you when they disagree with all these things kids they accuse you by an idol they steal from you they kill you they destroy you they enslave you they imprison you they destroy your family take your mom and dad away they take you away all for idols just like christ and the apostles in the bible says and the declaration that of America of independence says just like Jesus says slide 53 kids if one Lord God living sent his Christ his prophets his apostles saying freedom and liberty and the Bill of Rights and the Declaration uh, to this very nation say all the same thing then what will the devil come saying that you're not free that you're not at liberty they say blasphemy, playing your God with idols, killing your Christ, uh, like they did, killing your apostles, like they did, using idol accusations without even facing the person in court that you hurt, but just the idol, and treason to their own oaths and direct disobedience to the Christ, the apostles, um, the Lord God. Uh, slide 54. For in Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and powers, in whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of the sins uh, of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all your trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances, the legal claims, that were once against us, which was controversy to us, and took it out of the way. Christ nailed it to the cross, and having mocked and spoiled all the principalities and powers he made a show of them op openly triumphing over them in it let no man therefore judge you in provisions meats drinks or in respect of any holiday or of the new moon or of sabbath or of anything in your life that you choose for you which are a shadow of things to come but the body is of christ let no man beguile you just like they did in the in the in the garden remember serpent in genesis 3 1 he is more more cunning crafty subtle complex sophisticated than any other creature let no man, uh, back at 18, let no man beguile you of your reward in voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. Just like Christ says, they puff up in their idols to ruin you, to kill you. 19, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increasing with the increase of God. That is, they don't keep Christ. Christ's words. They don't keep God's words. The apostles, they let other people make up idols to destroy, kill you. Slide 55. <coughs> Excuse me. For in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. 
let me translate this. The Lord God living is all things. Christ is the head. And you are just a member in the body. That means that every single other human is a member. So why in all the body would you let a leg rule the leg, a mouth rule the foot, a finger rule the neck? For all these things are in Christ, the fullness of the Godhead body, who says you're free to do whatever you want. So then if somebody else comes and says you're not, they're trying to play the head when they're just a member of the body, and they're subjecting you in the same. That is, that if you believe... Truly, then you would never let anyone or anything be that Godhead, but the Christ. But if you don't believe, well, then you let other things take that role. But behold, the warning, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Oh, you members of his body, be you warned. Slide 56. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world... Why, as though living in the world, are you subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not. Like they say. Exactly like they say. Which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men. But your fine, your destruction, your family taken away, that stuff lasts forever. Slide 57. For in him dwelt all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Kids are so smart. Let's see how smart they are. So why would anyone judge, cop, preacher, lawyer, king, queen, priest, your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your cousin, your government, anybody, why would anyone try and rule over you kids if you're all in the body, if you and your parents are in the body just like them? They don't really believe in God. Look at all you having that answer. To rule you, to oppress you, to kill you, to destroy you and your family with idols, to accuse one, excuse another. Uh, slide 58. And you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. And you then are in him, his body, his mind, over all things. That is then nothing else has rule or power over you at all in any way. Now, let us see what our very own United States Declaration says. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men, are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Life, they take away for your liberty, for your pursuit of happiness, whether it's in drugs, whether it's in making them, whether it's in this or that, you've done no wrong, and they take all that away, but they'll give it to a billion dollar corporation in trees into their own own. Uh, and blasphemy. The preachers do this, feeding you to evil people that killed Christ, the apostles, in treason to their own oath, saying it's good. They too are just robbing you. Let me see if I can translate this into goddamned idolaters, stupid for you goddamned idolaters. I am made by God. And therefore, you goddamn blasphemers, I am free to choose for me. Without paying you, without asking you, without any way whatsoever, God blessedly ever. And I do mean God blessed. By the blood of the Son of the living God over all principalities about. Slide 59. Colossians 2.10 Are ye, And you are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and powers. Kids, what does principality and powers mean? A king, a queen, a judge... A god, an angel, a sheriff, a mom, a dad. Huh, then why are they telling you to obey all these things if they're part of the body and you do not? Then who would try and rule over your Christ? That's right, kids, the devil. Side 60, to tear you apart, to rip you in half, to split you from your parents. See how he's ripping them in half? He's eating up the sheep and taking the mom and daddy away. To rip you from mommy and daddy for pretended idol offenses they made just for you and your culture to tear you apart. Just like who says? Jesus, the Son of God says. That's right. The apostles, the prophets, the Holy Scripture, the Declaration, the Bill of Rights, their very own oaths, uh, what everybody's supposed to be preaching and teaching, but they're all teaching you to obey idols. This picture right here, kids, is exactly what happens. That's a daddy in the left hand, mommy in the right. That's the kids in the middle. They rip you from them so they can tear you apart and teach you godless goddamn ways. 61, Colossians 2, 11. In whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without men's hands in putting off 
the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. The Lord says, I will establish a covenant between me and your descendants. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you. The covenant you are to keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. What that means is you cut the tip of your penis off. You don't follow women. You don't follow idols. You don't follow brothers, sisters. You only follow, serve, and obey God alone. Egypt and Israel cannot coexist. The circumcision is a representation of not following after your fathers of the flesh, nor your mothers, nor your brothers and sisters, nor your wife, but to obey and serve one Lord God living alone. That is putting off the body of the flesh by the belief that man and his idols crucified the Christ. That is if you believe, which clearly the people that founded the American nation did, and that's why everybody's oath is to it, so then everybody betraying it is in goddamn blasphemy all over the world. Treason in America. Slide 62. This is real easy, isn't it, kids? Colossians 2.11. In whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without an intent. Okay. Kids, can you name one time in the Bible, Jesus, Paul, David, Moses, Noah, anyone ever said to do wrong to someone for an idle legal law made by man? Oh, yeah, to kill the firstborn, like Herod said. Oh, yeah, to run up the Jews, like Nazis did. Oh, yeah, to kill the children at Moses' time of Pharaoh. Oh, yeah, to bow down like Daniel. Uh, Neshach, Reshach, Abednego. Oh, yeah, all those things. Slide 63. Daddy, did Jesus save you like he did Paul? Then how come Paul stopped obeying idols and evil, idolatrous things, and you aren't? And you say that you're with Jesus, and that Jesus is for your idols, accusing free people for their free choice to steal from them, to kill them, to destroy them, remove them from their children, from their families, living human beings, Daddy? Mommy, what the hell? Slide 64. Daddy, are we free as Americans? Because we fought a revolution. To do what then, Daddy? For them to have warrants? To not make us pay, right, Daddy? To let each one of us accuse another government of the people, by the people, for the people? You know, one that we get to face our accuser, not their rich-made idols, whoever can come up with enough money to make one, to corner a market, to let us invent our own drugs, like Washington Carver, Eli Whitney, uh, um, these are just people uh, without degrees who did amazing things, Eli Whitney, Washington Carver, uh, Steve Jobs, Albert Einstein, um, the list goes on and on, uh, to let us poor people compete in the market, but if they want to corner us out, well then, we're, we, because we're free and endowed by our creator, so then anybody that would take away these, these rights that American Revolution and everybody swears an oath to, they're against their very own oaths, they arrest us without warrants, they search us without warrants against the very own oath, for being poor, for just being free, why, daddy, why? See? Look! Constitution of the United States. This is what all of them is right up all. Look at the Fourth Amendment. Unreasonable protection from unreasonable searches and seizures. No warrant shall be issued without probable cause supported by an affirmation or oath describing that person. That means you need another person saying you did wrong. Otherwise, we're back under caveman idol rule. The Seventh Amendment. Don't take me from my children without a jury of 12. Why? Because the judge will show you like they're doing. Slide 66. Colossians 2.12. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. That is the baptism and the testimony that all the world is worthy of damnation. That's the water testimony all over the world. Then Paul has just put us in the blood testimony of Christ, too. That is circumcised in the faith. And now putting us into the water baptism, the answer to God in a good conscience, when we get baptized, we say, okay, all a man is worth worthy of being destroyed by the flood. That's what water baptism says. So let me die to myself, not follow a man and his idols and his peace at the price of chains and slavery. That's all your life. You're worthy of death. Rather than the man you you were, and thus you now give your life to God, living to obey and serve the Lord God alone. That is now in the faith. Faithful does not obey a man, and especially his goddamned idol. Especially to do evil to human beings and families. 
567. How hillbillies knew this 230 years ago? <laughs> and all oh, you wise people get your own oath, don't? Oh, yeah, you do. You're just denying the air in front of your face, so then the devil, which the kids are going to become aware, and then throw you in the oven. Uh, 67, Colossians 2.12. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. Did the judges beat death? No. And they're going to die like you. Then why would you obey them and not Christ? Strange. Did the doctors beat death or sickness? No, it's still 120 years since Noah, and the most healthy people in the world aren't even near doctors in modern medicine. Strange. Did the cop? Then why in all of God's earth would you turn back to their dead works, them betraying their own oath? Did they even keep their own oath to any of them? Then why are you following dead works like a mummy in Egypt or a slave of Egypt? 68. Colossians 2.13. And you being dead in your sins and the circumcision of the flesh, quicken together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses. And you being dead in your idolatrous blasphemy, that is, we repent from these things, killing, imprisoning your own kids, your own spouse, your own countrymen, For because this is what we all do. We're all under the idol goddamn rule. We're all sinners. We're all ignorant. We all turn astray. We're all dumb sheep. So we're reborn. Don't marvel at this. Are now circumcised in heart from your sins. Now are aware and quickened together with Christ in Him by the power and grace of God Almighty. He has cleansed us from these things. He has set us free from these lies and these schemes. How in the hell then can a Christian man obey any other man or idol? Is that not the same trespasses that Christ was crucified to free us from? Of course it is, kids. Um... 2.13, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses. So then, if you're saved by Christ, by God, kids, do you give yourself over to be ruled by men that are condemned by the Lord God? No. Satan is a liar. And it just amazes me what some people will listen to and how a situation can get twisted. That is somebody who's free. Who would? A liar, a deceiver, not a true believer, a fake Christian, a fake American. You know you, you know the liar? It's okay to serve idols. I do too believe someone who hates freedom, liberty, and loves prisons and death. Slide 70. 214. Blotting out the... This, I love this one. Blotting out the legal claims which were once against us which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. This is what they had 230 years ago, the illiterate hillbillies. They just had these words. They didn't even need the Bible. They just needed the words. They just needed to believe. They didn't even have a Bill of Rights, a Declaration. They didn't have legal standing. They only had God's Word. They didn't need a legal claim because that shit is abolished if you're a believer. And only a non-believing, fake-ass lying, treasonous Christian American will believe that they aren't abolished. That is, in the Bill of Rights, the judges and the cops, lawyers, oaths to uphold, without a flesh and blood, living human, or dead body, there is no legal claim whatsoever that can oppose us, because Christ nailed all their evil idol claims to the cross. That is the Declaration of Independence. No warrantable jurisdictions. And to get a warrant in the U.S. of A, you need a flesh and blood citizen, or a dead body. Fourth Amendment shall not be violated, and no warrant. Tell us the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects. That's your car, that's your body, that's your coat, against unreasonable searches and seizures. Shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but a probable cause supported by oath or affirmation. That means they need another living person saying you did wrong. And particularly describing the place to be searched. Saying, well, he did wrong with this in that car. And then only that car can be searched and seized. You see? And the person or things to be seized. Huh. Funny how they're obeying other idols and not their own oath. Slide 71. Colossians 2.14, blotting out the legal claims which once were against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, yelling it to the cross. Kids, who in all the world 
would still make idols with legal claims against you after killing the Son of God and the apostles the same way, prophets and the revolution fought in this country, establishing a Bill of Rights, a Declaration of Independence, and our very own Constitution. Who makes for that poll? Who would still establish these legal claims? Who makes legal claims against you and your family to tear you apart, kid? Slide 71. You already know the devil. And having spoiled the principality powers, he made a show of them openly triumphing over them. Who would get break? Judges, lawyers, cops, doctors, priests, but anybody trying to say that they rule over you. He proved they are evil, spoiled, rotten, no good. Only idolaters to profit still kill without even anything being done wrong. They say they do it for peace to prevent evil, but then they do more evil to prevent the evil. But remember that evil may not have even happened. So they'll take, still kill, chase you for to make sure evil happens for that which they say might have happened. Translated, he made them look like idiots, greed fucks that they are. By killing the most begotten lamb, which is 100% pure and perfect, they 100% proved goddamned evil wicked and idle pride to still kill and destroy you and your family. Mark 7, 14 through 23, just like the Son of God says. That is why America fought a revolution. To remove idol witchcraft with its rule, which only makes aristocracy classes of rich people versus poor people, because the poor people can afford the degrees, they can afford the university, and they're excluded for weed offenses, drinking, anything that has to do with their culture. Having a gun, all these things don't see you to build right your gospel by your Christ. They use all the satanic order possible. To the American, it is an insult to say that you, Mark Twain said this, an aristocracy to say that you have to get an idol is an insult to the American people. Colossians 2.15, uh, slide 73. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. They say, we are too good. You need us and our idols. Well, we needed you to obey your oath, but we clearly see they're betraying their oath to make money for other people, outside entities. The devil himself to destroy your family. Because they do it for money, but the devil does it to remove you from your, your, your parents. Uh, to break up your home, to bring in an adulterous uh, uh, spouse and call it Christendom. So that you think that Christ is an adulterer. So that you think that Christ is for paying bills and bills above. So that you think that Christ is for legal ball all. They want to warp your head and confuse you turning things upside down. Because if they'd obey their oath, you'd be free and you you, you would have got a jury of 12, which never would have taken you from your parents. Christ, apostles, prophets, saints, 2,000 years, versus all them saying that they're good as they kill, steal, destroy, rob, force, imprison, you try to rule the drugs. Kids, uh, slide 74. Kids, since they killed Christ, apostles, saints for thousands of years, how would you stop them? Slow down. Slow down, slow down, one at a time. Not all you answer one time. All of us equal without paying. That's genius. We should all be free and equal and doubt by God. We shouldn't have to pay for university. We should be able to learn on our own with God. You're right. Uh, uh, what else? That's the declaration. You kids are genius. Oh, yeah. Get another person to say you did wrong before they search you and seize your property. Why, that's G. Oh, what else? Get a jury. Why, that's exactly what it was. Oh, uh, why, that would work for sure. We should get people to swear an oath to this and to uphold this. Should we? Oh, we do. Slide 75. Goddamn pathetic. Colossians 2.16. Let no man therefore judge you in meats, provisions, anything under the sun, or in drink, or in respect. That's what that word meat means. It does not mean meat, as in food. It means provisions. Anything under the sun, because it has to do with the dominion given man by God in Genesis. And nowhere does God say, okay, man, now that I've given you dominion, make sure you give it to the rich, to the educated, who never do anything good, because Christ had no degree, Luke had no degree, and none of them would be ordained by men. None of the apostles would actually. Or in respect of any holiday. Or a new moon or other Sabbath. Funny, isn't it? A gospel preached where the man that crucified... Preached where the men that crucified the Son of God still get to tell you kids what to do. The judges, the lawyers, the, the idols. Funny, isn't it? 
Found American Declaration of Revolution, Bill of Rights, every office, oath that everybody swears to uphold is still telling you and your kids what to do, think, say, do not touch, taste. Nope, it is not funny. It is goddamn idolatry, blasphemy all over the world, and only treason in the United States to their very own oath. 76. Let no man therefore judge you in provisions, meats, drinks, or in respect of any holiday, new moon, or Sabbath. Is the judge a man? Yes. Is a cop a man? Yes. Is a doctor a man? Yes. Is a priest a man? Yes. Is a king a man? Yes. Kids, why would anyone, after a revolution, nay, after the crucifixion of Christ, the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, the Apostles, say for 2,000 years, revolution, why would they still do this? Idle money. You're absolutely right, kids. And why would your parents agree? Because they're serving idle life. 77. Which, all these things that you choose, your free day-to-day, -day, your drug, all this, are things that perish with the body. They're a shadow of things. But the body is Christ. The whole of the body, the head, everything is in Christ. The truth. Does Christ's body, does Christ's body have idolaters serving other men? Does Christ Take in people that serve idols and other men. Or their churches or their jobs or bills above or legal bar or government. Court order custodies for adultery. How about for kidnapping the kids for the parents' free choice? How about for forced drugging and deaths of kids? How about for the forced schools where there is no God taught? Are these members of Christ's body? Is that Christ? Is that why he was crucified? Is that the Christian body? You know it's not. It's evil as shit. Repent all you and be saved. 78. What are a shadow of things to come? But the body is of Christ. Notice on this slide here, kids, no matter whether you get a degree, you make money, you still grow old and die. If all mankind dies and Christ is the only one resurrected from the living in which we all will be and if we're faithful to him alone, not the idols, if all mankind dies, why should you spend your life obeying another man's idol opinion? If they die, and you die, you all get sick, you all grow old, why then do you have to obey them? Are you their slaves? Are you less than them? Are you not made equal by God, our creator? Then why would they lie and say you need to obey them in their aisle? Slide 79. Let no man beguile you. Remember the serpent beguiled Eve in the, in the garden? Remember, beguiled Adam and Eve. Let no man beguile you of your reward and the voluntarily humility of the worshipping of angels, introducing into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. Remember, Christ says they're puffed up in evil pride. Um, remember, you're only supposed to serve the Lord God. Remember, Eve is beguiled by the by satanic pride, thinking she could tell good from evil. As people say, no, this drug is good, that drug is bad. Uh, you can only do drugs and make them if you have a billion dollars company and a license and a degree and shoot and kill all the poor that would be free you could see how they're beguiled in their evil goddamn pride to do evil slide 80 see how this man kneels down and gives his mind here i know i will die like you but while i live let me and my kids be your slaves oh you tell us what to do and when against your very own oaths canceling the holy scriptures christ the bill of rights the american declaration oh please please you can clearly see how goddamn evil cowardly it is to put your kids in an oven and kill you for their idle comfort houses today the wicked witch's idle house close it's 219 and not holding, they don't hold Christ as, as Christ, as the true Lord. They say they do, but then they put in a thousand different idols and whoever's passing, next president, next, whatever, just to keep you kids distracted so they can build prisons right now as they're doing for you so that you don't have free choice and the rich can corner the market. And not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment, ministered, and knit together, increase with the increase of God. That is, they say they are Christian, yet they obey everyone and their goddamned idols. Which is not a Christian, that is a goddamned idolater, a blasphemer. Any man that ever tells you, any woman, man, any human being that ever tells you to rob, steal, kill, search, imprison, make pay, because somebody else made an idol, 
is a goddamn idolater and blasphemer to the living Lord God, the Christ, the Holy Scriptures, apostles. They are in blasphemy all over the world, treason in the American nation. And thus they stop the prosperity that comes with serving and obeying the Lord God living alone through our Lord Christ, who is truth, which sets you free, not making you serve idols and men and governments and jobs, goddamn idols, prisons, death, destruction, but to serve the living Lord God, to be free. Let my people go, says the Lord, so that they may serve me. Egypt and Israel cannot coexist. When will you hate the one and love the other, and love one and hate the other. They will kill still you and your family and your children. That's why Moses slayed them at the mountain, because they'll literally put you in prison for an idol somebody made. Colossians 2.19, slide 82. So Christ is the head, all the believers in the body, but who says that he's not the head? We will be the head now. Yes, it is against the American law and our own oath. So what? We all do it. And you know how evil that is. And against their very own oath, as we can clearly see. Fourth Amendment. They're not supposed to search or seize you, your drugs, your guns, your car. Not for paying people, but because they have a warrant saying you did wrong. Not because you didn't pay, because that would be robbing the fucking poor for being fucking poor. How idiot are you? Seventh Amendment, making kids less than twenty dollars, destroying families against their very own oath. Galatians twenty twenty. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why as though living in the world are you subject to ordinances, legal law claims? Translated to stupid for you guys. Are you a Christian? If you serve and obey anything made by another man, hell no you're not. How about a government? Hell no. How about anything under the sun? Hell no. Your life belongs to Christ and God alone. You serve and worship alone. Nope, you possibly cannot be. Except if you are a slave. Right? Only then does it condone this if you're a slave. And even then you are to do it unto God. Until it comes into conflict with God directly. Saying to do evil, rob, steal, kill somebody else. And then you're supposed to give your life not to do wrong. So then that would make all the cops who swear that they're protecting you. All the judges swearing that they protect you. They'll just watch people rob, steal, and kill you with every idol they make. And they'll just keep doing it against their own oath. 587. Now, if Christ is the head in the body, I do believe in Christ that he is Lord and there is no other in all the world. Ah! But you need an idol, a title to be free, a license, an ID, a card to smoke even weed. Oh, without idol, it's madness, madness. No, it only means that the rich don't get to make money off your stupid ass. And enslaving kill still your kids. Slide 88. Colossians 2.21. Touch not, taste not, handle not. These are the doctrines of men. To grown men, to grown adults. That supposedly serving the Lord God and the Christ, how much is the devil mocking you? And your fake ass faith to God, you evil beguiled whores, giving them rule over you, your kids, your faith, everything that God gave you from birth. How freaking retarded are you? Or lying, goddamned evil betrayer, being wicked witch to the kids, to kill the kids. To, breathe, to erase the bread blood trail of faith to be free, to be true. But many prefer to lie in games, fucking little kitties, minds with adultery, and calling it Christianity, saying to obey idols and adultery, fornication, thefts against the very own oaths. The very things they say they, they do. Now, what happens if you do touch? What happens if you do chase? What happens if you do handle like Christ says you're free to do? Slide 89. They will chase you. They will shoot you. They will kill you. They will enslave you. They will imprison you. They will destroy you and your family. We told you not to touch. We told you not to taste. We told you not to handle. We are the law above Christ, apostles, God, Bible. Our way is better. Our idols, idols, idols are peace. And more goddamned idols are peace. You know this because we betray our oath. Because nobody ever makes a law. Nobody ever dies, fights a war to make sure that you obey idols. Friday 90. Which are all to perish with the using after 
their commandments and doctrines and, and that means the drugs are the police just like their orders. Like remember when marijuana was such a bad thing they'd shoot and kill you? It's cause just cause people wanted to make money off this shit because it was everywhere and so they could enslave and destroy families. And so once once people became aware of it, they switched it, right? So if it was such a good commandment not to perish, then why is it perishing? Why are these men making massive dead? So they can kill still and destroy the families. That is just like Christ says in Mark 10, 14 through 23. Um, then, and the only person who would do this is mummies, Egypt, dead people dressing the dead by goddamned idols, and run a pyramid scheme of evil to judge you and rob you, just like in Egypt. That is, they let men and their idol doctrines still kill and destroy them and their families, their nation, their faith, their belief, their own families. They bring in the idols to do this, and they say, they tell their own children to do this, and then it's God, and today they say it's godly. 230 years ago, when hillbillies and slaves, they knew it was fucking blasphemy, which is blasphemy all over the world, and treason to their very own oath in this nation. 91, which are all the parish with the using of the commandments of God. Now, so what if they perish? If we perish, like you, while you live, you will obey us, they say. Our idols, like it is God, or you will die. Hey, kids, who else dresses perishing works and enslaves you for them? That's right. Mummies, Egypt, Pharaoh, England. That's why America fought a revolution. Funny how your parents don't understand that today, but yet they'll deny the very air in front of their face in front of you. That must mean they're serving the prince of the power of the air. 92. All you have to do is ask your parents, do you serve idols? Do you think I should be bowed down and thrown in prison for an idol? And if they do, then they don't serve the living God. It's that simple. 92. You cannot serve both. Pharaoh in Egypt and the living Lord God. 92. Luke 11.40. You fools did not he that made the outs which made the outside also make the inside. But rather give alms or share. They mean the same thing. Give alms and share of such things as you have and behold all things are clean. Now Christ is call, uh, slide 93. Christ is calling everyone fools because God made all things in the world. This was done in Genesis. He gave dominion. That's why he's calling them fools. Because God made all things. So for you to come and judge another, still kill from them, you are a fool playing more pride than God. You're doing goddamn serpent evil, flipping shit upside down, trying to say that some idol rule made by a man given to another man who purchased it now rules you. Then for a person to judge you is claiming to be wiser and more moral than God himself. See why he calls you fools? Goddamn evil. 94. Why would Christ say that, kids? Ha ha ha. Kids are so smart seeing people make idols to be your God. Because we are all born. We all die. We all sin. They make a rule over anything else is to say they, by their purchased idol, will never which we will never afford, makes them better than us to enslave us by idols, to imprison us, like in Egypt, like in England, like we are less than them, because they have money to buy such things, excluding us from what God made for us. Isn't that goddamn evil? Slide 95. But rather give thanks and arms share of such things that you have, and behold, all things are clean to you. This is, a, this is repeated by the apostles in the whole of the holy book, so then if anyone imprisons you for your personal choice, they are claiming to know better than the Christ, than the Holy Scriptures, than the Apostles, than God himself. And they are saying, still kill, destroy for you having that. And Christ and God is saying, well, just share that which you have. Funny how they go directly against that. For someone that doesn't believe in the Bible, they sure are precise in going against it. 96. Slide 96. But rather give it, all right, kids. Is searching you, seizing you, and your property making you pay, making you obey, or else they kill you, destroy you, imprison you? Is that what Christ says to do? No! No! What? Well, when it comes to drugs and everything that God has made for you, or else do you obey wicked witch, idol, death, tyranny, so they can cook up the oven and throw you kids in prison, take you from your parents, for just obeying God, saying that you're free? Not under their idle goddamn rule. Blasphemy all over the world, treason in America. Slide 97. Hey kids, 
How come no one ever swears to keep drugs, which is under the sun, God made for you all? How come nobody swears to take that away? How come there's no oath said, I will make sure that nobody does that which God made? Um, and why is the Bible, the Declaration, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Apostles, the Saints, the Christ, all say to be free and at liberty in these things, to just share them and give thanks to God? Because that is human tyranny. Stopping the poor from competing in invention restrictions, uh, restricting them from ever rising up, enslaving them so that the billionaire markets can corner it and that, uh, that anybody that ever has a good idea has to already be working for companies, already locked into licenses, already in agreement. Then we would be free to serve and obey God alone and not their evil idol rule. Slide um, 98. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with you? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother says to the servants, to the men, Whatsoever he says to do, you do it. That's the Virgin Mary telling the men to follow Christ and not after their mama like your lying ass little fake-ass Christian men are running around doing today. Uh, that's the circumcision of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, of, of the revolutions of this country, of the freedom marchers. They follow God and not their little lion-ass mamas. Um, not, not that mamas are bad, but they're not made for war. They're not made for crucifixion. They'll let strangers come in. Uh, that's why only lying adulterous Christians will let strangers come in and steal the kids from their own wife and mother because they're blasphemers. They're like women of the world, the, the devil. They use idolized, dress up their evil, goddammit, satanic, child-stealing, nation-killing, Christ-hating, God-word-hating um they, they just love the destruction of it. Um, and they use idols to do this. And there were six pots after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus says unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they fill them up to the brim. And he says unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made in wine, and he knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and they saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when a man has well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. The beginning of miracles did Jesus this in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. Okay, so let's get something straight. First off, uh, Christ got them shit-faced drunk. That's about 600 to 900 bottles of wine, which was the custom, is the custom of Jews, and many other marriage uh, cultures around the world. So whatever parents telling you this is grape juice and all that, it's a goddamn liar, uh, because Christ is about to tell you in a little bit, he got drunk too, and we're about to see Noah got drunk all by the Holy Scripture, so tell your parents to put away that candy idol house so that they can come up with a reason for the cops to put you in prison and take you away from your other parent. And doing that exactly what Christ says they'll do. Um, also, uh, the reason for this is because all the prophets apostles came and then Christ was saved for the last, um, and his apostles, the bringing in of the church. Also, that water represents wisdom, which means bring all your wisdom to God to purify yourself. Tell him of all the wrong you've done, all the right you've done. Bring all that forth, and then God will turn that into fine wine working with you. That's after the order of Melchizedek, the showing of the bread. It's also the washing of the disciples' feet. Um, it's manifested in many different ways. But this is what Christ is talking about. Bring all the wisdom of the world into your purifying of your soul. Bring everything that's in the world, and God will make a uh, good wine out of it. He'll make a good flavor out of you. Uh, 99, that's why it doesn't have to do with the woman. The woman is the water. That's uh, that's all your life. That's what you're born under, uh, the woman. And then when you, you're ready to, to turn that into something better, you give your life over to God. That's your life on God's altar. That's the blood, the wine, the bread. That's where you put your yourself and all that you learn from your mother, from the world, from the government, from books, from degrees, whatever, and you put that on God's altar and you say, now God, you take over. Then he makes fine wine out of you. That's giving your life blood, your wine, your bread. Uh, that's what they try to erase. Slide 99. Kids, do you think there should be a roadblock drinking and driving checkpoint to trap them coming back from that wedding feast that Christ got all them drunk? No. 
Why not? Because it's just the net to trap them that are part of their own culture. No crime, no reason to do it. It's only to steal and kill from cultural wars. That's why they're mainly in black neighborhoods and Mexicans. That's why you'll find none of them in the rich Nichols Hills or in the other neighborhoods. That's why you'll find all the bars and the liquor stores in the poor neighborhoods. Exactly, kids. Goddamn precision evil. Slide 100. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Did any cop ever take an oath, uh, um... To make checkpoints, or did he say that he wouldn't do exactly that without a warrant? That's right, he swore he would never do that unless he had a warrant. Funny how he's betraying his own oath. How do we know this, kids? Because slide 100. Hey, kids, remember their oath to uphold the Constitution? Well, what does that say about searching and seizing people and property without a warrant, victim, accuser, living to face them? Ha! There it is again! No, without probable cause supported by oath or affirmation of another living person. Funny! And they're doing it just for what? Opinions. Idle opinions. They will just make more nets to trap the poor. They'll make more reasons. Idols. Insurances. More drug laws. More of this. More IDs. More of this. All to restrict you to remove your daddies and mommies from you so that you will be uh, dis uh, scattered about like little sheep. Remove the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. It's the same reason adultery is done with outsiders. And they do all this without a victim, without a crime, without an accuser. Only by idols, 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 goddamned idols. Wicked witch, idol house, put you in the oven to destroy you. They make it sound good, but it's all goddamn evil. Slide 101. This is the first miracle that Christ performs in John, the wedding. First miracle God does for Adam and Eve, the wedding. He merges them, uh, makes them into two. It's the first miracle God does down, come and, and gives Adam. Um, the bread and the wine brought by Melchizedek, Christ is the wine. Okay, we went through all this. You men do everything he tells you. Note that. Uh, that's the Virgin Mary. Now, if... If she, the Virgin Mary, the mother of mothers in the flesh, tells you to obey Christ, then what should you men be doing? Stupid ass men. You don't take your mama to war, so you don't ask her about war. You don't take your wife and your kids to crucifixion, so you don't fucking ask them about such matters. You don't take the advice of women and kids when it comes to freedom, liberty, and dying on the cross. God dang, stupid ass coward men. Now, slide 102. That's why Mary tells them to do everything he says. Because she doesn't care to be drawn to crucifix neither. She's a woman. Men are supposed to do that. But notice how your daddies aren't, and they're bowing you down to idols, because they're pussy, adulterous blasphemers. <laughs> you know, like them Christian men that still kids from their own mothers with idols. <laughs> That's fucking sickening. Okay, so... We'll go ahead and run through this one really quick. This is where Christ tells you that he came eating and drinking. Uh, for John the Baptist came neither eating nor drinking, and you say that he had a devil. Remember, they also put him in prison and beheaded him. And the rulers put him in prison without a victim, without an accuser, all against their idol rule, beheaded him. But the Son of Man came eating and drinking. Is Christ not the Son of Man? Of course he is. So he came eating and drinking, just like Noah did. Behold, a glutton and a wine bibber, they say, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. That means that if you want to put wisdom in your dead, sober body while you shoot, kill, destroy families for goddamn idols and opinions that other made, you're going to goddamn hell because your wisdom is evil. But if you think that men should be free to choose for themselves and their children the same, to invent, to use anything, have dominion under everything as long as they don't harm anyone, then you're with wisdom of God and not against the Holy Scriptures, Christ, the Apostles, Saints, Patriarchs, Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights. And Noah begot and grew, uh, made a vineyard, and he got drunk off the wine and was drunk. Naked uncovered, and his kid judged him. But behold, it's Noah's curse that stands. How do you know? Because it's the same curse darn near that Christ puts on you in Mark seven fourteen through 23. You that judge, whether it be the son to a naked father or whatever it be, then it's you that are going to goddamn hell. Martin Luther, too, was a drinker. And the drugs uh, one does has nothing to... Martin Luther is the one that shattered the uh, Catholic Church. In fact, many monks, saints, priests, Buddhists, all over the world, they got no problem doing drugs and getting drunk. In fact, uh, euphoric and all that has been used since the beginning of man. Um, it's only evil people that would judge you for that, trying to take the, your free choice given by God. Now, why would somebody usurp God? Because they're goddamn satanic wanting to kill you, crucify you. Your Christ, your faith, your nation. Slide 103, slide 104.
kids, do your parents and preachers and teachers, all them that tell you to obey idols, and condemned man's idols at that, also tell you that Christ was sober, never would he get drunk? Hmm, isn't that strange, kids? If Jesus drove home drunk from that wedding and his apostles, would it be okay for these men to search him, seize him? How about the people at the wedding? How about them he got drunk? No, why not? Oh, because there's no victim, flesh and blood accuser. There's only what they might do. But don't sober people crash too? Oh my God, don't cops crash people? Oh my God, oh my God, what will we ever lose? See how they do it, kids? They're goddamn lying betrayers. World of life in need of much repentance. Really quick, kids. What is the difference between a person accusing you and an idol? Let's see the left side. A living person or the dead body of that person. Before 12 people accusing you. But no more we the people. No, no, I know. Don't freak out, kitty. I know. I don't, I don't, I don't just put an idol there. And they'll say, well, we need an idol. And it will accuse you before 12 people. Wow. See why there must be a person. If it isn't a human, the list of idols will never end. Don't look. Don't touch, don't taste, don't do, or we will kill you and your family for an idol. Crazy, isn't it, kids? Okay. Slide 107. Noah got drunk, planted a vineyard, and he drank. Now, remember, uh, he was cursed. Um... I'm sorry, he cursed his son for judging him, mocking him, telling others, uncovering his nakedness. Um, and remember Mark 7, 14 through 23, and that's how we know that no matter if your daddy or mama get drunk, fucked up, no matter how you see them, if they didn't hurt anybody or damage somebody else's property or that person, really, then they've done no wrong. And it's you and everybody else. Now, today, what would they do with Noah's kid? They would come and take him away. And then what would they tell Noah? He need to attend alcohol class, wouldn't it? How fucking stupid is that? Noah, who saved the world, they say wouldn't know shit. He shouldn't have got drunk, but behold, he did. And he's beloved of God. Now, who's wrong? The one that would take Noah's kid away and make him attend classes? What would they teach Noah? Nothing. Nothing. What would they teach Christ? The apostles, what will they teach your parent? Nothing. They will only make them pay, stealing you away so that they can F you in your minds and in your hearts, making you obey idols. Slide one up. Hey, kids, is God wiser than all humankind? <laughs> the Lord is, isn't he? The Lord God's two favorite people in all creation got drunk, Noah and Christ. And Noah's kids saw him drunk. God said his curse stands because Christ reiterates it in Mark 7, 14 through 23. Strange, though, who would turn that around? <laughs> ah, you kids are so genius. 109, slide 109. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. Stand firm, then, in the freedom for which Christ has set you free, unless you become enslaved again. I love this one. Funny. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. So the Declaration of Independence says we're free. The Bill of Rights says we ought to be free. It says we are free. Without a victim, flesh, and blood accuser, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator. It's why we fought a revolution. It's why we declared independence from idols, titles, rules, legal claims, stupid shit of rich people just making it up to corner drug markets. Where are our victims? Where are our accusers? We don't even get to face them. The 4th, 5th, 6th Amendment. They've established a religion, which is idolatry. Of course, because if an idol can accuse you, that is against the First Amendment. Uh, and it says they cannot prohibit religion. And your religion says that you're allowed to do whatever drug you want. So who is right and who is wrong? The ones betraying their oath or the ones that are with Christ? Is not the Christian religion to be free of idol and man rule? Then are you of the bond woman or of the free? Slide 111. Kids, if you were born English under the King of England, would you be free? Even if the law was man ruling by idols, was the law, the king, the magistrates, that was all the legal claim? Well, you are. How do you know? Oh, the Holy Bible. In Christ. Because God, by Christ, Bible, apostles, says you are. Wow, kids. That 
is what hillbilly Americans who couldn't even read 230 years ago said. You don't rule me and my family. We have God. Fuck your kingship. Fuck your idol rule. Fuck your degrees. Fuck your magistrates. Fuck your police. Fuck your standing armies. We will live free or you will kill us. Give us liberty or give us death. As Joshua said, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Funny how they could render that illiterate, but today in the modern society with all the scriptures, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration, <laughs> and very against our very own, they still aren't rendering that answer. Isn't that strange, kids? Slide 112. So then, how much more with the Apostles, the Civil War, 2,000 years of struggle to get free from primitive, idle, caveman rule? The Bill of Rights, the Bible, the Declaration of Independence, the Revolution, and everybody swearing an oath to these things, which are all founded on the principal Godhead of Christ. How much more should we be free? Funny how we're less free, isn't it, kids? So, uh, slide 113. Stand firm in the freedom for which Christ has set you free unless you become enslaved again. I love that verse. Is giving your children to God the schools where they don't teach the Declaration, the Bill of Rights, the Covenant to God, um, is this good? Is this free? No, because they'll take your kid from you if you don't obey their idol rule. To make your kid dumber, to make your kid obey idols. That is evil. Nobody, no Christian in the world truly would do that. No believer, no Muslim, no Jew, no one would ever let a government, a state, a king, anyone rule over them and their kids. Is letting another person tell you what to choose and imprisoning, shooting, killing you and your children if you don't obey, is that free? Hell no. Is a legal claim against you just an idle claim against their very oath, against the very declaration, against the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Gospel, the Holy, Holy Scriptures, Christ the Apostles? Is this free? Oh, hell no, it's not. Heavens knows Christ did set us free, though. So why are they all betraying this? Slide 114. Children, what is enslavement today? Idols, idols. Legal claims above all called legal law. Taking free choice. Chasing people. Nets and checkpoints. Fines. Searching and seizing. Imprisonments without warrants or victims or crimes. Or a living accuser to face you. Only the idol. Made by your own servants, who swore they wouldn't do that. Slide 115. Kids, do you want jobs or do you want freedom? <laughs> That's right. Slaves have jobs. You're absolutely right. That's right. Nazis, I, you kids are so brilliant. That's right. The U.S. revolutions quit their jobs all in one felt swoop. Because it was a king's market. They threw down their entire economy. In fact, we've done it multiple times in this country. That's right. The apostles quit their jobs all to be free. To serve and obey God alone, not the items men make or their men kings. Slide 116. So then, kids, if they say obey the idols for peace, for your works, then you say who is goddamn? Pharaoh, Egypt, mummies, Nazis, kings, queens, uh, anyone that would follow an idol, a judge, a lawyer, a cop. That's why they don't swear to obey any other idol except the Constitution, which reiterates don't obey idols, but to bring in flesh and blood victim accusers. Slide 117, Ecclesiastes 9-7. Go thy way and eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart, for God now accepts thy works. Who would not want you to be merry and enjoy the drugs that you do, kids? Who would want to take away your God-given free choice? Who would accuse you for just choosing for you? Who would steal from you with no victim? Who would kill you for no crime? Who would destroy you just for being free? Against God's Christ, prophets, apostles, holy scriptures, declaration, bill of rights, the United States, they're very, that's right, kids, you are ready. No, slide 118. Kids, if God accepts your works and says enjoy, then who on earth would disagree? And who would turn God's word into no effect and turn it upside down, calling God a liar, calling the Bible a lie, the Declaration of Independence a lie, the Bill of Rights a lie, the Constitution, their very oath, a lie, calling court order, legal ball, cops, tearing you apart, all good, but Christ and the Bible are bad. Slide 119. Wine is good as life to all a man if it drunk moderately. What is life to man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. Now, that means all things under the sun, given dominion, to make you glad. Wine, measurably drunk, and in season, brings forth gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. 
No, never in all the good book does it say to hurt someone if they are using drugs, getting drunk. Never does it say to accuse, steal, kill, destroy anyone ever for their free choice. Not what? Where are they getting this idea from then, kids? All the book warns against that would do that. Who would do that? They are evil and goddamn pride, destroying you, trying to re-crucify Christ, the apostles, and your children. Then where would they get that idea from? And why would they obey it with everything saying not to? Slide 120. Kids, wasn't everything given to man to have dominion by God? Yes. Then who would take this dominion away? Kids are wiser than their parents today. Because they're true. The parents deny the air in front of their face, swearing to death, bringing in outsiders to destroy their family. Slide 121. Now, wine is a mocker, strong drink, a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law of God, that is, living the law, and pervert judgment of any of the afflicted. If, who would that? Oh, yeah, the police checkpoints in the poor black neighborhoods. Oh, yeah, those searches to see if you're immigrants. Oh, yeah, without a jury of 12, they made your mommy or daddy take a drug test and then took you away to treason to their very oath. Oh, yeah, the fruit of the wine. And the wine is idolatry. Uh, the fruit of good and evil, thinking that you could decide good from evil. They make idols to judge you, thinking they're that goddamn good. This is all fornication. This is the wine that he speaks of, of course, because it makes you forget the law, the word of God. Christ, apostles, declaration, bill of rights, your blood trail of your own ancestors, this own country. Because the idol rule of man doing cruelty makes a person not obey the Lord thy God alone, which is the law, the living Lord God, but to obey the idols made by man. Slide 122. Tell us what to do with our kids and ourselves, idol made by man. Yes, obey my degree and my law. Make idols to rule over another. Forgetting the law of God by them idols. Mm, so wise. This would be peace. Keep building prisons for our children. Kids, how do you get drunk off the vine of good and evil? That's right, making people better than you by their idle degrees purchased which you will never afford and they will try to exclude you by your own culture. Yeah, uh, slide 123. Give strong drink to those who are perishing and wine to the embittered. When they drink, they will forget their misery and think no more of their troubles. Open your mouth on behalf of the mute and for the right to the destitute. Open your mouth, judge justly, defend the needy. And the poor. That's what cops and judges are meant to do. Did y'all know that? That's what preachers are made to do, too. That's what mommy and daddies are made to do. Except everybody's betraying their oaths, bringing in outsiders to destroy the very things they swear they're for. <laughs> ah, the devil is tricky. Slide 124. All right. Now, again, Solomon says drink, be merry. This is consistent through the whole scripture. Christ says the same thing by the miracle writing. All the apostles say this. So then those who would say otherwise are puffed up in evil, goddamn pride, just trying to destroy you, the Holy Scripture, the Bill of Rights, your American freedoms, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Uh, against their very own oath. Slide 25. Uh, do you kids read anywhere in all these lessons to do harm, prison, shoot, kill, make, pay, tear apart, God made families for wine or drugs? No. Then where do they get this evil rule from? Must be beguiled by the devil, Satan himself, with their goddamn foolish pride opinions. 126. Op kids, if you ever have a thought, do not act on it unless you can find it in scripture, especially to hurt somebody. Um, open your mouth on slide 126. Open your mouth on behalf of the mute and for the rights of the destitute. Open your mouth. Judge justly. Defend the needy and the poor. Huh. See the devil flip it all around? That is what judges, cops, and lawyers are meant to do. But yet they're the ones robbing, stealing, and killing, causing the poor, destroying the families, those without a voice, against their very own oaths. Not to be your servant. That they're supposed to be your servants, but now they're just stealing, killing, destroying you, making you obey idols that outsiders made against the Bible, the Declaration, as we've already said. Uh-oh, someone is in blasphemy with a wicked spirit of unbelief. Uh-oh, someone is in treason to their very own oath. Slide 127. Okay, kids, quick fire. 
to see if you are wiser than your unbelieving lying parents giving away your God-given liberty and freedoms to the rich for their goddamn idol comforts today. Your imprisonments, shootings, and killings tomorrow. Slide 128. Can the rich always afford car insurance, kids? License, tax titles? Yes, of course they can! Can the poor? No. So then what do they do? Oh, that's right. Robbing, searching, and seizing the poor for just being poor. You guys are so wise. Hey, kids, can billion-dollar companies and million-dollar doctors and their degrees and their drugs decide drugs? And can they kill people with their drugs? Can they fuck up? Can they lie? Can they control the drugs? Can they do drugs? Yeah, by their idols. To, for what reason? To keep control of them to make a legal claim against you because they have idols and that you and your culture will never afford. That's why there was a revolution. Now, open your mouth on behalf of the poor, the needy, to do right. What is their oath to the Constitution? And what's that Bill of Rights to make sure that you have an accuser and somebody doesn't rob you just for being poor? Do you think, kids, that is why their oath is to protect you from idols and them that would enslave you by them? What a coincidence. We're on slide 130. Going to 131. Notice the idolatrous, wicked witch blood. Uh, the idolatrous, wicked witch house where they all betray their oaths. No. Excuse me. Now let's follow the blood trail. Civil war, declaration, revolution, Christ crucified, the apostles crucified, the Bill of Rights, their very own oath, apostles killed, Holy Bible, Constitution, their oaths. Oh, this is what they don't teach or tell you. That you are free. By the blood of the Lamb of God who takes away all of those sins that everyone's doing to try to cook you in an oven for a goddamn evil devil. How do you know? Because they want to bow you down to idols while they build prisons, go to work today, and get their comforts. It's why they teach you idolatries, blasphemy, so forth and so on. It's why they take you to court. All rise, the, ba the Baal, if the bailiff. All rise and have you swear away Christ when Christ ordered you not to swear so that they can bow you and your family down to legal things. They laugh at you. They sell you your own kids and your own betrayals. So, children, now you know the truth that anyone that would judge you for your free choice or make you pay to be free is committing taxation without representation because your taxes paid for that road. And to pay an outside company... Uh, if you're supposed to have an I, uh, license, an insurance, an ID for your car, then that should come out of your taxes to your government. Taxation without representation is tyranny. Slavery, kids, they knew that 230 years ago. Illiterate people did. That means outside companies are bribing your so-called good leaders that will shoot and kill you against their very own oath to make them rich. And your parents are supporting them. That means they're all supporting the prince of the palace. Prince, the power of the air, the goddamn devil himself. How do you know? Because they'll swear to death, betray that death covenant, and say that it's Christian. And until they repent, which, God help them, I pray they do, until they repent, they're still serving the goddamn devil. And not Christ, not God. They're not for you. They're lying to you. Because if they'll lie about Christ and serving God alone while they serve idols, they are lying to you. Uh, God bless you, your families. Um, if they tore you apart, remain faithful. You already know the commands. Uh, don't fear all this because it's kids that push, push the witch in the oven. God will defend them. Uh, I don't know if we're at that climax in the timeline yet, but we're definitely moving to that wave. So just stand you firm and watch God trap all the goddamn evildoers. As he says, the net is spread in the sight of every bird, and he knows the hearts and minds of everyone. And that's that's what he weighs. So God bless you, your families. Um, may God be with you. May Christ be with you. May Christ be in you. Um, keep fighting that good fight of faith. It's everything worth fighting for. It's everything worth killing for. It's definitely everything worth suffering and dying for. God bless you, your family.